Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Haney here with 3 News. I am talking with Air Force veteran J.R. Majewski from Port Clinton, Ohio, who, as you can see, has turned his entire yard into a campaign sign for President Donald Trump. J.R., thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Can you tell us, what was it that inspired you to make this mural for President Trump in your yard? Well, every year I do something pretty big for Independence Day. Last year I did the uh, American flag. And this year I decided to do the uh, the Trump banner or the Trump flag um, to show support for the president. I think uh, given all the things he's going through at this time, um, I thought it would be appropriate for myself and my friends that were joining me to, to show our support. How long did this take you to do? That is quite the sign. Um, it took me about 50 hours to paint and it took almost 100 hours in prep work. Is there upkeep to this? Will you be repainting it as time goes on? Um, I'm not sure yet. Right now, um, because of the paint we use, we use an environmentally friendly paint. Um, it's pretty expensive. Um, so right now, what you see now is the original paint, which was done the week before the 4th of July. So it's still standing up pretty well. Wow. Um, but uh, I, I would like to keep it up. But um, I've started a GoFundMe site. So... Um, given the opportunity for people out there that support Trump to donate. And if they, if I get the right amount of money, I'll, I'll maintain the flag through the election. And um, it's going to cost a lot because the paint's expensive. The art upkeep's expensive. And I certainly don't want to lose my lawn uh, to make a political statement. So I'll keep it up as long as, as long as financially uh, it's possible. But right now I've sunk a pretty good portion of my own money into it. And I think I've made my point. What is the point that you're trying to make exactly? The point is I support President Trump. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but, you know, when, when we had an Independence Day party here and I made sure that, you know, there were going to be people here and I associate and I have friends that don't support President Trump. And um, I'm, I'm certainly OK with that. And so we put signs up in the yard that said, you know, we I yes, I support President Trump. But, yes, we can still be friends, um, even if you don't. And I think that's one of the things that's missing right now in our society is people take political affiliation and they use that as an end all or a point of conflict when it really should be a point of dialogue and a point of understanding. And I'm trying to reinduce that back into the small network or the network of people that I associate with. And if I can, if I can make a change there to make it better, then, then it's all worth it. How has the sign been received, both the mural that you created on your yard and also that sign that says, yes, I support Trump. You don't have to, and we can still be friends. Well, unfortunately, the sign that I had um, that said we could be friends wasn't necessarily shown in the media yet. So I'm trying to get that out just so people understand. Um, but as far as my friends, they loved it. They thought it was the greatest thing. Um, they knew I was doing the Trump flag before they came here because I want people to come into a friendly environment. They know me. They know I'm a friendly guy. So I didn't want to have people show up and surprise you know anyone. Um, I have relatives that, that are extremely extreme non-Trump Trump supporters, but they support me and they appreciate my character and, and the way I handle things. So the sign, the, the painting in itself has been, been um, pretty well accepted. All the neighbors, they enjoy it. There are a couple of people that don't support Trump, but again, I get the same behavior. Um, we don't support Trump, but we appreciate the effort that you put in for that painting because they saw me out here in my yard for four days doing it on my own. So um, it, it's been overall pretty well. The online community, that's a totally different story. That's been, that's been pretty, pretty violent, but I don't pay attention to it. It doesn't bother me. What is it about President Donald Trump's platform for 2020 that particularly draws you to supporting him? I like President Trump in general because I believe that he's, he makes himself fallible. He makes himself, he's predictable. I understand what he's doing. Um, some people say he tweets too much. I appreciate the tweets because I know what his frame of mind is at any given point. I may not, I may agree with him, I may not, but at the end of the day, I still know what, what's going on in his mind versus past presidencies where um, we found out things years later, you know, there were conversations had or decisions made that probably would have been best served if the public would have had the opportunity to weigh in. So, so it's, I, it's I, I, I like that. I, I like the fact that he's open. The fact that he's open creates a dialogue and that you perceive him as transparent with the tweets. Is that what, is that accurate to say? Yeah, overall, I, be, I believe he, he represents himself as pretty transparent and he seems to me that to, he, he's a person that 
says what he does and does what he says. Speaking of his tweets, President Donald Trump tweeted, thanking you for creating this sign. What was that like? That was pretty cool. Um, I've met in my military career, I've met past presidents. So um, this, I mean, Trump is kind of a, a rock star of presidents, if you will. So it was, it was, it was neat. Um, I, I think it was, I found, I found more pleasure in the tweet um, in the fact that he recognized my neighbors. Um, they, they got a big kick out of it. So um, maybe that's just me, but I like to see other people's uh, happiness over my own, I guess. So yeah, I got more of a kick out of seeing their reaction versus, you know, versus mine, but I was happy. It was, it was pretty cool. He talked about your neighbors in that tweet. That's right. What was it that he was talking about specifically related to your neighbors? I, he said that, um, you know, we have great, great neighbors and, and specifically wanted to, to recognize them for, for their support. All right. So do you feel like you've accomplished what you were aiming to accomplish here with the Trump 2020 keep America great sign? I think that um, I've, yeah, I think, I think when I got done painting it, you know, I, I did this, I didn't do this as a symbolic nature for the whole world to see. I never thought that, that would happen. Again, I did a flag last year and it got local media. Um, you know, I did this for my own satisfaction. The fact that it's gone so big, uh, that's well above and beyond my expectations. So I was happy the day that I put the, the sprayer back in the garage, but um, looks like I might have to get it back out again. So we'll see. Well, it looks like you got it done at least before this heat wave heat up, hit us. So that's that's good news for you for sure. I got a good tan out of it. I got a good tan out of it. So all right, Hopefully JR. I didn't scare any kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us, JR. We really appreciate it. And we will make sure we let people know about that sign of yours that says, I support Trump. You don't have to. We can Thank still you. be friends. That's a great sentiment there. And all those that want to support the flag and continue it through November, feel free to Donate if you have the means. Please don't donate if you if you cannot. But we do have a GoFundMe site out there. So, all right, there you have it. Thank you very much, Jr. I'm Thank Stephanie you. Haney for Three News.